macOS Ventura is here and it brings tons of new features to the Mac. I'm gonna show you the main ones today and before I get started don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Also this video is sponsored by Set App by MacPaw, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 macOS and iOS applications. I use it every single day here in the studio and they recently announced a time-limited partnership with the password manager 1Password and the streaming educational service Masterclass. Their goal with the Pro Essentials Pack is to help professionals with a Mac to stay productive, proactive, and protected in 2023. Now, you can save up to 40% when you make the purchase of your plan via the Setup website, which is linked down below in the description, and this offer is active until January 2nd of 2023. Make sure to check it out, and thank you so much Setup for sponsoring today's video. So starting off, one of the main macOS Ventura features that I was really excited to test is called Continuity Camera. This feature allows you to use your iPhone as your webcam on FaceTime or other video call application that you may need to use. The only thing that you need to do is bring your iPhone close by that it will pretty much be enabled automatically. So I'm gonna put my iPhone right here and we will test this together. So I'll open FaceTime right here. And as you can see, I am currently using my iPhone as the webcam. The quality is great, of course, a lot better than the IMAX camera. And you can use this on your MacBook. It doesn't have to be an iMac. I have an iMac right here, but you can use on any of your macOS devices. When using your iPhone as a webcam, you can also take advantage of the portrait mode for FaceTime. So simply go to the control center, press on video effects, and then you can choose portrait, studio light, or center stage. With center stage, the quality is not the same, but the camera will follow you. So for example, if you're showing something to your viewers, this will help you a little bit. Something else that is available um, on macOS Ventura is the desk view. And this feature is really cool, but I will say that it works a lot better on the MacBook. So let me show you. Make sure you press on desk view. And as it says here, you can use plus and minus controls to align your desk to the edge of the box. Click start desk view when ready. So start. And because I'm currently using the iMac, it's not going to show you the best way, but it works better on the MacBook, as I was saying. If I was a little bit further away, like this, <laughs> it would work better. But I could easily show you guys, like write something or show you my keyboard. This is a really cool feature. Next on macOS Ventura, FaceTime also works with handoff. So you can pick up a call on your iPhone, transfer over to your Mac or vice versa. You can pick up a call on your Mac and transfer to your iPhone, which is really convenient. Next, I'm pretty sure that many of you are excited to try the new feature Stage Manager, which allows you to multitask between open applications. To enable Stage Manager is really easy. Simply click to open Control Center and then click on the Stage Manager icon. Something else you can do is press and hold right here, click and, and hold, and then drop it on the menu bar so this icon will be always showing up on the menu bar. So let's do it right now. As you can see, the icon is right there. I'm going to click right here because I think it's easier. And look at this. Now you have this tab on the left side and you can simply click on the app that you like to use at, at, at that time. So I'm going to press on the finder. It switches automatically. Mail, calendar, finder again, mail, calendar. So as I said, it is a new way for you to multitask between open applications. I will say that I do like this feature. It is 
visually it works pretty well however macOS Ventura is still pretty new so it does have a few bugs here and there it is not that smooth at this moment at least for me in my experience okay now let's talk about system preferences on macOS Ventura it is called system settings and there is a completely new interface as you can see, now everything is organized in a list view, which is supposedly easier to navigate. I will say that I feel completely lost <laughs> when I'm trying to find something here. I thought it was easier the other way, the way it was previously, but I'm pretty sure we will all get used to it. Also, if you already updated to macOS Ventura, let me know down below in the comments what's your favorite feature so far, and if you like the list view on system settings or not, because I would love to know. If you feel lost like me, you still have the ability to search for the setting that you're trying to find, and the search bar is now positioned on the top left corner. So for example, if I'm trying to find the brightness setting, I can simply type brightness and everything that has all the settings that have the word brightness will show up for me. This is of course convenient, but I still don't know where to go if I'm not searching for it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna start searching for all of the settings because it looks confusing to me, but oh well, we will get used to it. Next, let's talk about the Mail app because macOS Ventura brought a lot of new features for this application. First one, now you can undo send an email. For some reason, this was not available on the Mail application, but you can now do it. So for example, if I am, let's put this test at me.com this is a test this is a test if i send this email now there is an undo send button and you can undo send up to two minutes after it was delivered which is awesome Mail feature number two is that you can now schedule to send an email. Of course, this feature is already available in the majority of the mail applications, but again, it was not available on the Apple Mail. So now simply uh, click on this arrow right here on the top left corner, and then you can choose send now, send 9 p.m. tonight, send 8 a.m. tomorrow, or you can send later and then you can choose the exact date and time to send this specific email. Just like Gmail, the Mail app also allows you to receive a nudge for follow-up emails. So let's say that you sent an email for someone seven days ago, the Mail app can now remind you to follow up. Maybe uh, you want to send a new email to that person asking if they received your previous email. Now, if there's an email that you just received, but you want to reply at a later time, you can now set a reminder for this in the Mail app. So simply right click on the email and then go to Remind Me and you can choose remind me in one hour, remind me tonight, remind me tomorrow, or remind me later. Then, of course, you can set a specific date and time for this reminder. And not only the Mail app, but the Messages app also has new features that I'm pretty sure many of you were waiting for a long time. So right now you have the option to undo send, edit sent messages, and mark messages as unread. So for example, if I send a message to my husband, like, hello, how are you? I can right click and hit undo send. He will be notified that I unsent a message but he won't be able to read the message. To edit a message, right click, click on edit, and then you can edit your message. How are you? 
Again, he will know that I added it the message, but he doesn't have access to the previous message. And to mark a message as unread, right click on the chat and click on mark as unread. Talking about passwords, Safari has a built-in strong password feature that I will say that I use all the time. Every time that is available, this is how I create a new password. And right now on macOS Ventura, you have the ability to edit a strong password suggestion. So I'm trying to create a new account. I just chose to add a strong password and right here you now have the option to click on other options so you can choose between easy to type no special characters or you can edit strong password then i have the ability to edit this on my own so let's say that i cannot have the website doesn't allow me to add numbers to the password I can simply delete the number five and then I will delete this. So this is amazing. Websites in general do have different requirements for passwords. So this will allow you to edit your strong password accordingly. And last but not least, still talking about passwords, macOS Ventura now allows you to either check or copy and paste your Wi-Fi password if needed. And such as iPadOS 16.2 and iOS 16.2, the Freeform app is also available on macOS Ventura. And you can now use this app to collaborate with other users and plan your projects, create mind maps. There are tons of features that you can use. I talk a little bit more about this in my iOS 16.2 video, so make sure to watch that as well in case you haven't seen it yet. And these are the main macOS Ventura features. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.